Today we're going to cover Cognos Analytics 12 for an in-product tour. So to get things started, this is our homepage experience. Up here in the upper right hand corner, you have your top menu bar, which allows you to search for your Cognos content in your environment. You can access the Cognos Assistant, the AI Assistant, right here from the menu. Define your parameters, as well as your typical notifications and personal menu bar for your account as well. On the home page itself, you do have the AI assistant embedded right here in the forefront. So if you do have a question, you can go ahead and get started. You don't have to wait to create a dashboard to start asking for insights and engaging with the assistant. As we scroll down here, we have our introduction bar with a variety of different product tour and enablement guides to get you started. And as we scroll down, we have our two call to actions for actually getting started with your content. You can directly drag things onto the canvas here into this bar from your local drive to get started or create some dashboards and reports from existing data in your Cognos connected environment. As you come down here, you'll have recents, which shows you everything that you've looked at. We also now have favorites, the ability to heart your favorite content and be able to see it at your leisure. Additionally, in the hamburger menu on the upper left hand corner, this should look relatively familiar to most folks where you have the ability to create new artifacts from data modules, explorations and presentation views for dashboard reports and stories. You have your content navigation bar as well, where you can browse from your content, your team content, samples, and again, as we mentioned on the homepage, your favorites as well. And of course, you have your recents which we showed on that homepage as well, and the manage panel, which is very standard and should be familiar to most. The goal with this Cognos 12 in product tour is to get you feeling comfortable with the types of layouts and the types of user behaviors we hope that resonate with you. We want to make sure that this is an AI first experience, minimizing a lot of your digital friction and clicks and making it that much easier and faster for you to go from having data to answering your questions and making stronger decisions.